subscribe to my channel. Thanks. Actor Nelson Ellis's family has spoken about the actor's death on Saturday, in an effort to help other people who suffered from addiction. The True Blood star died after years of suffering from drug and alcohol abuse. In a statement, his family said Ellis, 39, was ashamed of his addiction and did not want to talk about it. But they added, his family, however, believes that in death he would want his life to serve as a cautionary tale in an attempt to help others. Speaking to The Hollywood Reporter through his manager Emily Gerson Sainz, the family's statement continued, Nelson was a gentle, generous and kind soul. He was a father, a son, a grandson, a brother, a nephew, and a great friend to those that were lucky enough to know him. Flamboyant talking about the circumstances behind Ellis's death from heart failure, the statement explained, after many stints in rehab, Nelson attempted to withdraw from alcohol on his own. According to his father, during his withdrawal from alcohol he had a blood infection, his kidneys shut down, his liver was swollen, his blood pressure plummeted, and his dear sweetheart raced out of control. Ellis played the flamboyant Lafayette Reynolds, a charismatic gay medium who was able to contact ghosts, in the HBO horror drama series. He appeared regularly throughout the series of True Blood after first appearing as the cook at a local restaurant in 2008. He also featured alongside Viola Davis and Octavia Spencer in the film adaptation of Catherine Stockett's novel The Help in 2011.